Until about six months ago, I had no interest in DIY whatsoever. I've decided that that's all going to change now. I've gone from a Tupperware dish for a toolbox to countless tools that I'm learning how to use. I've gone from having a shed this big that was over there to having that shed, which I've built myself and painted. I've also gone from having this area, which was just overgrown with bushes and piled up here, to digging it all out and building this concrete structure on the floor, plus that concrete structure that you can see there, which I'm going to build a brick oven. Uh, and I've done all that without any experience. I've had a few accidents over the way. In fact, if you look carefully, I've just had another one where I had butted a brick. I've had tendonitis, I've cut my fingers open, I've dropped tools, I've broke tools, but I'm learning. And if you want to see this through to its bitter end, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell button so you know when I've released a video, and hopefully in, I don't know, six months, 12 months, 18 months. I'll have a big structure here with a roof on and a Pompeii oven there that I can cook pizzas and roasting. So my original idea was to render this wall, but I've never rendered before, so uh, I, I, I decided against it. But I've been looking quite a lot on uh, on the Pinterest website at various different ways that people decorate their pergolas. And I saw this. Now these are just old pallets. That is one pallet. And the tree is treated wood. I'm also going to oil it with some uh, Fiddy's uh, oil, which will give it a, uh, a decent bit of protection. Not that these inside are going to get wet because it's under cover. But I'm really am thinking now that I might do the outside uh, the same as well. I've actually oiled them three there just to get a feel of what it looks like and I really do like it so I'm definitely going to go down this route definitely for the inside uh, and then I'll stick a screw in I so said I've left the holes I like the holes because it looks quite rustic so I'll stick a screw in every so often normally you have it uniform so all the screws are along one line but I mean I can't do that anyway because some screw holes are down here some are up here I quite like the idea of having it a bit a bit wonky so um, I'm going to stick a couple of screws in each one straight into the concrete uh, there's no backing board on so they're straight on to the back of the concrete I don't really have enough space under this uh, under my uh, under my coping stones to have a, a piece of batten across to screw in so but I can go straight into the concrete it's absolutely fine and it as I say it does look quite rustic so I mean I'm I'm quite happy with that so I'll get some feeders oil on this I've actually run out of pallets now so I, I only had two uh, I've got ten more arriving tomorrow hopefully it's a bit of a job pulling them things apart I'll tell you that so yeah I'm, uh, I'm really happy with that